What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Madden 23, or should I say welcome to Madden 23, and the first episode of my series for this season, which I'm going to be doing a showcase of all of the rookie quarterbacks in this year's draft. That includes anyone drafted as a rookie quarterback, and, you know, if it's popular enough, I may do some of the other rookie positions. There's some really good running backs in this year's draft that I am probably going to really enjoy showcasing. But today, we're going with the Tennessee Titans third-round pick, Malik Willis. Now, Malik Willis, six foot tall, 220 pounds. He played for Liberty in college, um, played pretty low level competition, but he did put up some really strong numbers. Senior year, he passed for 2,800 yards and 27 touchdowns to go against 12 interceptions and ran for 878 yards for thir with 13 touchdowns. I mean, pretty good numbers. Now, he is actually from Roswell, Georgia, started his career at Westlake High School, transferred to um, Roswell his senior year, and then I believe actually started his collegiate career at the University of Auburn, played for Gus Malzahn, got beat out by Bo Nix, or couldn't take the job from Bo Nix. Not really sure who this guy was throwing to, but you know, we'll take the easy pick six. Um, lost, you know, didn't need the job, transferred to Liberty, sat out a year, actually played two full years at Liberty. So the key things in his draft profile that really stood out to me, beyond the fact that he played against pretty subpar competition, is he would have some absolutely amazing games, and then he'd have games like against Wyoming, I want to say, where he threw four interceptions, but then he had another game where he threw six touchdowns and ran for another. So he can play, he's just kind of spotty. Don't know how this interception happened. I'm assuming it was a glitch, but that's the last you'll see of this guy. Then we're actually going to be to see Malik Willis play against None other than the Las Vegas Raiders, headed up by Derek Carr and new wide receiver Devontae Adams. They also have Darren Waller, uh, they have Hunter Renfro, who is probably the least athletic looking wide receiver in the entire National Football League. Uh, there's a picture of him at, at a lake or at a pool with everybody else, and he just looks like somebody's athletic trainer, which is not to knock him. I mean, the guy's making millions of dollars doing <laughs> really, really good stuff. And he's probably one of the most technical route runners in the NFL, outside of maybe like Cooper Cup um, or Keenan Allen. But back to the focus. So Malik Willis, drafted third round. He's probably going to sit for two to three years behind, I would say, Tannehill. Um, and he's definitely going to be their quarterback in the future unless he's just an absolute disaster in camp or in practice. Um, if Tannehill goes down and they have to play Malik Willis, I think the Titans are actually going to be in for a world of hurt. Um, there goes Derek Carr going down. Look, want like his brother getting sacked a whole bunch. Um, the Titans roster overall is... I don't actually know how to describe their roster. They have one. They obviously have Derek Henry. Outside of Derrick Henry, they don't really have just a ton of people in this pick. Here we go. Um, they they just, I don't know. Their offensive line, especially, um, you'd think with behind Derrick Henry, you'd have a, or in front of Derrick Henry, you'd have a really strong offensive line. But they are just not quite it. And this is the Titans rookie uh, wide receiver, Traylon Burks, on the jet sweep there. Um, I think Taylor Lewan is the best they have, and he's rated at, like an 80 um, or maybe a 77 even um, and here you're going to get to see a little bit of the read option going with them they've cleaned up the read option a little bit um, Derek Henry for some reason just immediately broke out trying to block but Malik Willis has got pretty good feet he's not bad in the open field change of direction is pretty solid um, you know but this is one thing that is bugging me about this game Derek Henry is a mountain of a man I mean, he's just massive. I misread that all the way. Um, and he gets drilled by these tiny little DBs. And everybody's seen the clip of him just, you know, throwing Josh Norman out of the club. But we don't really get to see that. And in this in this particular game, I'm running one of my custom playbooks. This is my wing T playbook from years past. Easy, easy touchdown to Austin Hooper, former Falcon, um, former Cleveland Brown, maybe. Um, but he's pretty good. Uh, speaking of the running game real quick before we get back on Malik, um, the overall, I feel like running from the eye and you know two back sets is probably going to be a little bit better than the under center stuff and shotgun stuff in years past. I'm probably going to have to definitely remake my custom playbook that I use for head-to-head -head play and focus more on that because under center, uh, I've probably had the least success I've ever had already. And then granted, I've only played a few games but usually I'm used to being able to like pop off some pretty good runs, but I just, I've not been able to. I get absolutely schooled up by 
the man I said was unathletic right here, Hunter Renfro, easy game. And this guy for Las Vegas was actually pretty good, Mr. Fearless with a five. Um, he's, he's pretty good. Um, got an easy sack there. That's one thing I love so far about Madden 23. The pass rush is real. You do not get eight seconds to stand in the pocket. There are some really strange glitches. Um, I've been, look, that was beautiful. Um, I've been seeing some really unusual uh, things online lately. The, the apparently that you know if if you're blitzing a linebacker, your offensive line will just ignore them. Um, sometimes they, they'll just get a free run, and play action rollouts are they need to be touched up a little bit. Good moves here, but um, still really getting there on the run game. It, it feels kind of clunky, but I will say this: so far, I've noticed that the screen game, the wide receiver screens especially, have been improved dramatically you it feels so much cleaner back to Malik I think that you're going to see especially if you're an ultimate team guy um, which I'm really not or you know if you play a lot of head-to-head -head, as the game cycle goes on if we get to see some live game reps try to get cheeky with the jet sweep here I don't get it get the so well. um, if we get to see some live game reps and he impresses I think you're going to see a lot of people online using him because when you pair up somebody that's got his level of speed with Derrick Henry you've got two extremely good running backs out of the backfield that was a that was a great read by him I thought that would be clean because I know he's been coming up playing the short route um it's just you know you're gonna see the same thing you see out of every man the fastest quarterback will see the field more often than the slow guy um, because he gives you kind of a get it out of jail for free card at some points. Um, and that's one of the few times I've been able to successfully execute a play action rollout, which is a major part of my game. So that's been that's been ongoing, uh, a definite stressor for me. Um, and it's funny because in this game, I basically took what the defense gave me. A lot of check downs, a lot of short balls, which is exactly what Malik was benched for. I had Derek Henry wide open right there, um, which was exactly what um, Malik Willis was actually pulled for in his first preseason game um, because the coaches didn't want to see him run. They didn't want to see him check down. They wanted to see him read the defense. Um, and that's something that I've still got to work on here in this Madden uh, because it's more important than ever. And see, there's Derek Henry getting absolutely walloped by a 180-pound corner. Um, a little unusual little bit uh threw up a prayer here to robert woods usc man you know he's he's a pretty good wide receiver but he's i mean there's nobody on this team right now that's going to scare anybody's defense in that nobody's going to take the top off you know they've got derrick henry or they've got nothing and they're right here good to use my legs a little bit easy touchdown and that's what you know that's how i like to play so 17 14 Four minutes left in the fourth. Uh, gets me with the screen here. Screens have definitely been touched up. But on the flip side, they've been touched up on the defensive side as well. Because a lot of times you'll actually see your defensive linemen, uh, especially in impact players like, say, Aaron Donald or whatever, fading out and chasing down the screen. Um, and they're not nearly as fast as they were. The screens don't develop as quickly. So if you read it, you can sit on it. Third and 18 takes a dump off to Waller. I'm not too worried about that. You know, we got a little, He's got a little bit of time left. Um, Kind of, but it's the one play touchdowns this year are few and far between so far. Um, it, it is much harder to see that, and I'm not sure why he threw this ball, but Darren Waller should have caught it. Easy breakup. We take the ball back. 17 14, 224 left, second and nine. And, you know, it's it's El Tractor Cito time. Derrick Henry's going to go to work. Easy run, throwing off DBs, which is what happens in real life, not them laying his enormous self out. Um, see, like I said, you can see right there. The running is odd feeling still. Um, I, I've definitely had some people absolutely ruin me running. Um, and that's one thing I really enjoyed so far is that you can drop back and make those picks um, with a lot more frequency than you could in you know, Madden, I don't know, 22, 21. A lot of times that route would just be open. But he's seen enough and so have I. Uh, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks.